The elephant has always been the most coveted kill among trophy hunters. Their size, the largest land mammal on the planet, and large ivory tusks made them a prime target for men, who, from the beginning of time, have pursued the pachyderm eager for its tusks, its meat, and its thick skin. Devastating slaughters by ivory hunters and the gradual loss of habitats brought on by increased human populations in Africa reduced an elephant population which included millions of specimens at the beginning of the century to close to 500,000. The creation of national parks and a set of international measures, including the prohibition of the ivory trade, have slowed down what seemed to be a race towards extinction. But for elephants, the future is still uncertain. One of the best African parks for observing and studying elephants is Amboseli in southern Kenya. The park was created in 1974, although it had been a hunting preserve since 1899, when it was annexed to the territory of the Ukamba Preserve. The park's 392 square kilometers protect an astonishing biological diversity which developed from the union between a complex geology of a volcanic origin, an unusual hydrology, and a rainfall pattern influenced by nearby Mount Kilimanjaro. The result is the variety of habitats and animal species found inside Amboseli, open plains, herbaceous territory, and scrubland, acacia forests, shrubs, and swampy areas all with their associated animals. The rain in the area tends to surround Amboseli due to the combination of the wind and thermal currents created by Mount Kilimanjaro, which, 40 kilometers away, receives most of the rainfall. But this same mountain, which robs the park of rainfall, gives it back again in the form of underground springs. The water filters through the mountain's layers of volcanic rock and emerges fresh, pure and crystalline at different parts of the park, reviving the green grasslands. In Amboseli, the rainy season between March and May is short and sometimes does not come at all. The park receives only about 350 millimeters of rain per year, converting it during the dry season into a torrid landscape, which only survives thanks to the underground water. The alkaline soil of Amboseli covers three swampy areas in a lake which is dry most of the year. The lake is reminiscent of a much larger one from the Pleistocene era when it dried up, left a concentration of salts forming a layer on the surface of the ground. These saline deposits, which are lifted up in the form of powdery eddies with the arrival of the wind, caught the attention of the Maasai, who lived in the region, and they call this area Empusel a word which means salty powder in Ma, and was the origin of the park's current name.
Despite the dryness of the zone, the park has an elevated number of species. There are more than 400 different birds, black rhinoceri, giraffes, buffaloes, three different antelope species, zebras, lions, leopards, a complete sampling of the most representative animals of the African savanna. But above all, Amboseli has elephants. <laughs> <laughs>